Hello and welcome to the Met Office forecast for the week ahead. Rainfall across the country has been fairly hit and miss recently, but I suspect we'll all see some wet weather over the next few days. It will continue to feel cold in the north, but some warm weather is at least on the way for the south. Some warm sunshine on bank holiday Monday in many places with high pressure close by. A few showers, but the wettest weather remaining to the west at the moment, and it is on its way. Changes are afoot above the Atlantic. This fast-flowing current of air, the jet stream, is going to help to develop these areas of low pressure. This one in particular comes along for Wednesday, and because the jet stream is to the south of the UK, these low pressure systems will move up from the south, bringing rain, followed by showers, and then through Thursday and Friday, another area of low pressure, again bringing rain, followed by showers. But of course, that's a few days away, and the exact depth and track of this low in particular is open to doubt at the moment. Exactly where it will end up will make a big difference in terms of the weather we all experience as we end the week. But it looks fairly straightforward. On Tuesday morning, there'll be showers across many parts of the country. Cold air in the north, a frosty start for Scotland and the far north of England. Some lying snow over the Grampians. Showers break out fairly widely in many places for Tuesday afternoon. The best of any sunshine and dry weather in the far south. And here, temperatures rising to 15 or 16 degrees. But elsewhere, it's going to feel quite cold, especially where you're caught in one of those showers. But there will be showers, so they'll be on and off on Tuesday. The same can't be said for Wednesday's rainfall, which moves up overnight on Tuesday. And we start off Wednesday with wet and windy weather across much of southern and central Britain. Now that rainfall soon marches north and for northern England, central and southern Scotland, northern Ireland, it's a wet and windy day. That rain heavy, especially for eastern parts of Scotland and northeast England. Further south, after that wet start, it brightens up. There'll be some sunny spells, but there'll also be some heavy, slow-moving downpours. Where we do get the sunshine, though, 18 or 19 degrees, so it is warming up. But it stays cold further north, where we'll just about manage the single figures, 8 or 9 degrees. Thursday, well, it's a similar day with a lot of cloud cover, outbreaks of rain and a strong wind for eastern Scotland and northeast England as well. Further south and further north, showers. But it's in the far south where we'll have, again, the best of any sunny spells and any warmth. Now moving through into Friday and we've got that area of low pressure coming in. But like I say, there is still some uncertainty about it. It looks likely that many places will start off dry on Friday. There'll be a few showers around. But our attention soon turns to southern Britain where rain is likely to set in. Now the exact position of this rainfall, whether it's further north or further south, is still open to doubt. So we'll keep an eye on it and keep you updated over the next few days. But it does look likely to be an unsettled end to the week as the low pressure moves across southern parts of Britain, the wind strengthening at the same time. What we can say for sure is that that low does move out of the way and high pressure is likely to build to the west of the country for Saturday and Sunday. And that high pressure, well, it's not going to bring a heat wave because we've still got relatively chilly air across the country through the weekend, any warmth staying away for the time being. But it will help to bring more settled weather. And that means that it will turn drier after a few showers on Saturday and there'll be increasingly sunny spells. Feeling warm in that sunshine, of course. And of course, we will keep you updated about all the areas of low pressure we can expect through the next few days. And you can find those updates through the Met Office website, app and social media channels. Bye bye.